Artists have always been at the forefront of interpreting and defining culture. And as technology becomes more ubiquitous in our everyday life, it's really crucial that artists play a central role in defining and interpreting how we interact with that technology. My name is Peter Swenson. I'm assistant professor of computer music and digital media here in Oberlin's Tamara department. Tamara stands for technology and music and related arts. We're primarily a composition program, but we focus extensively on the use of digital media and electronic and computer music techniques. Our first semester students start in this room, which is Tamara Studio Number no. 4. Uh, we start with these wonderful old vintage analog synthesizers and we progress over the course of the semester into digital recording, uh, MIDI notation software, digital audio editing, multi-track uh, recording and editing. In this room, which is our media lab, students do video editing and put together DVD projects and web-based projects. We're very lucky at Oberlin and in the Tomorrow department to have wonderful facilities and great equipment in those facilities. This is the control room of our recording studio, which is used for both student and faculty projects, uh, and now is the home to our very nice new Icon mixing board. This is our public workstation lab. This lab is open to all conservatory and college students, especially those that take our most introductory level courses, Tech 100 and 150. One of the great things about the conservatory at Oberlin is that it sits alongside a great liberal arts college. And so our student composers uh, not only learn a lot about writing music, but they have a lot to write music about because they're studying other things concurrent to their music education. Uh, for instance, we're, we're here now uh, outdoors at the, the new environmental science building. We have uh, traditional ties to lots of departments on campus, and recently the Tomorrow Department has ties with environmental science. There was a class taught last year on solar music where students were working with environmental science colleagues to create installations using uh, natural stimuli from the environment. And my own work draws extensively on this. I spent last year in Norway doing a project based on soundscape composition where I was taking lots of field recordings from around that amazing country and using them as the basic foundation for a number of music compositions. And part of my teaching here draws on that, getting students to think about their surroundings, especially the state uh, of their sonic surroundings and how things like urban development uh, impact um, the kinds of aural spaces and sonic spaces that we inhabit every day. The other great thing about electronic and computer music is it allows us to do things where we map parameters of the real world into musical parameters. So we can take the seasonal change that we're seeing here on this kind of blustery November day, and we can map those seasonal changes into musical parameters like pitch, like timbre, like the texture of sound. And in a way you get the same result, which is that if you sit in the middle, you hear the whole thing, but it's kind of bouncing around. Oberlin's a very appealing place for me as a faculty member primarily because I get to work with our undergraduate students immediately and intensely. There are a number of places where my interactions would be more with graduate students or would be based in my own research and I wouldn't have the kind of one-to-one -one relationships that I get to enjoy here with undergraduate students. But also going through this granular patch and that sounds like this. Just as the rest of the conservatory has done for its whole history, with performers and composers of acoustic music, we in the Tamar Department are particularly interested in being a driving force behind broader cultural adaptations and use of technology in our everyday lives.